Hello friends, today I am going to solve with good problem number 872, leave similar trees. In this problem, we are given two trees and then we need to find the sequence of the leaf node values and then compare the sequence of the two trees with each other. And if the sequence of the leaf values are equal, then we return a true, else we return a false. So in this case, the leaf node so basically a leaf node is a node which doesn't have a left child and a right child so in this tree here six is a leaf node because it doesn't have a left child as well as a right child also the sev seven is a leaf node four nine and eight are also leaf nodes two is not a leaf node because two has a left child as well as a right child even if two only had a left child there was no four then also two would have been a uh, two wouldn't be a leaf node so to be a leaf node it should not have both the left and the right child so six is our leaf node seven four nine and eight is our leaf node so our sequence here is six seven nine eight in this case also the sequence becomes six seven four nine eight since both the sequences are equal we return a true and in this case the sequence is two three and three two which is not equal so we return a false here so now let's see how we could solve this problem actually so we need to find the sequence of the tree, right? Sequence of the leaf nodes in this tree. The so sequence in this tree from left to right because we are always uh, starting from left uh, to the right. So the sequence in this tree is six, seven, a four, a nine, and then an eight. So this is the sequence of leaf values in this tree now how do we find the sequence well basically if you will look properly at this sequence what we are doing is we are to find the leaf node we are traversing the tree um, as long as we do not reach the leftmost node of this tree so once we reach the leftmost leftmost node we know that that is a leaf um, by this condition by the base condition when the node the left of the node is equals to null when the left is null and the right is also equals to null so when both the left and right are equals to null that is when we know um, the we have reached the leaf node so we we are gonna perform an and operation on this condition so once this condition is valid then we push into our um, leaf sequence of leaf the leaf value of the leaf node so we push a six because now we have reached here now once we have reached here we have pushed it we return back to the node where where the call was made and then we go back to the right so from left we after we visited the left we visit the right nodes so of this tree again so of from this node again we are going to visit the left one and then we reached seven and we know seven is a leaf node because it satisfies this condition and then we push our seven and then we go back to the node which called from where we made the call and then we go to the right and we push four and then so on as long as we have not reached the very end which is the eight so uh, once we reach the end we are going to return our leaf values and then um, we do the same for the another tree as well and we compare the sequence so to compare i'm just going to use a join operator where i join all of these values with um underscore with an underscore uh, delimit delimiter so let's now dive into the code so we need uh, leaf one sequence and then leaf two sequence so leaf one is a sequence of leaf nodes for root one and leaf two for that of root two now we need our dfs function 
so in the function we are going to pass the node and we check if the node the node should not be empty if it is empty then we may we will not find the left and the right there if the node is empty then there is no left node and the right node right so that is why we need to first of all check if the node is not empty else we are gonna uh, get a an error in this case um, so if the node is not empty is not null and the node doesn't have the left and the right node that is when we push to our leaf okay so we also need to pass the leaf node be leaf because we should we in order to know which sequence we are pushing into so here we then push the value of the node and then return because we know we have reached the leaf node and then if not um if the condition is not satisfied if it, if the node is null null and if it is not a leaf node then what we do is we traverse to the left of the node and then we traverse to the right of that node and then finally uh dfs we need to call make a call to the dfs for a root one leaf one and then for dfs for root two with the sequence leaf two and then we are going to finally return um if the join you could use any delimiter so delimiters i'm just using a uh, underscore here and then i'm just going to check if both of them are equal or not if these are equal then uh, to return a true else or false let's see our code okay oh, all right so i need to pass leaf here great Cool, now let's submit our code. Great. So the time complexity of this function would be um, since for each of the uh, three we are traversing over each of the root node, right? So to find the leaf node here we traverse each of the nodes so we reach here and then again from here we go back to the right and then we go to the left we go to the right so basically we are traversing each node so the time complexity would be o of n and the space complexity would also be o of n because we are storing our leaf nodes in an array so um well space complexity would not actually be o of n because in a binary tree the number of leaf node is based on the height so here in this case um, suppose we have a tree with one depends on the number of so the height of the tree here is one and uh, the number of leaf nodes here maximum leaf node is two to the power one which is equals to two now if the height of the leaf was equals to two then in this case the maximum number of leaf nodes we could have is equals to four right which is one plus two the since the height is equals to two which is two to the power of two is equals to four so if we had more children if these three nodes also had children then the maximum number of uh ch leaf nodes here could be one two three four five six seven and eight right which is two to the power the height which is equals to three which is equals to eight so basically the space complexity is equals to uh two to the power of the height 
So that's our space complexity and the time complexity is O of m. 